Nightline. Sex, faith, and scandal. The inside story of an affair that raises troubling questions of hypocrisy and betrayal for a prominent conservative senator. Did Senator Ensign sexually harass Cynthia Hampton by uh, conducting an affair with his employee? And then did he violate uh, sexual harassment law by firing Cynthia Hampton and her husband uh, when the affair ended? You have to wonder how is that the senator's parents came in and paid his former mistress $96,000 as a gift out of the goodness of their hearts. It just really doesn't make sense. Of course it was a severance payment. The failure to report it may well be a felony punishable by five years in jail. That too is a felony. That's pretty serious for a senator to be allegedly involved in at least two felonies. This is Washington, D.C., and you never really know how things are going to play out. And given the mess that the Justice Department is and how the Senate Ethics Committee has almost never met a scandal it couldn't avoid taking action on, you really can't have any faith that Ensign will eventually pay. If I had done what, the, what uh, Congressman Weiner had done, um, I'd be worried about my family and, and uh, getting my life back together and, uh, and not trying to go out and, and be a congressman and try to uh, profess to be a leader of this country. I think that um, you know, I, would have, I would have taken different steps. I would have stepped down and done, uh, done what's best for, um, for the people that I love. Republican presidential candidate and former Pennsylvania Senator Rick Santorum weighing in with his thoughts on the Anthony Weiner scandal. As an ostentatiously upstanding family values guy, Mr. Santorum says the right thing to do, the moral family loving thing to do, what he would do if he'd been caught sending dirty pictures to ladies on the interwebs would be to step down, would be to resign from Congress. I'd be worried about my family, and I would have taken different steps. I would have stepped down and done, uh, done what's best for, um, for the people that I love. Based on his superior family values and love of his family, Mr. Santorum would have handled this whole thing quite differently if this had been his sex scandal. Turns out this is less hypothetical than you think. This is sort of an empirical question as to what Rick Santorum would do in this situation. Rick Santorum does not have an internet sex scandal of his own, uh, but he was involved in a sex scandal. He was very deeply involved in someone else's sex scandal. In fact, it was because he was known as an ostentatiously pious family values guy that he got caught up in his friend John Ensign's sex scandal. John Ensign, you'll remember, is the now former Nevada senator who was stripping one of his staffers, his wife's best friend who was married to another one of his staffers. Senator Ensign ultimately saw fit to fire the woman he was sleeping with from his staff and to fire her husband from his staff and to have his parents pay them $96,000 and to set the husband up in a lobbying job in apparent violation of ethics rules. On June 15, 2009, Doug Hampton, the husband of the woman Senator Ensign had been stooping, Doug Hampton sent this email to the senator's friend, Rick Santorum said, quote, I am reaching out to you because I would like your help. I do know about you and your relationship with John Ensign. I'm also aware of the man you profess to be and the positions you have taken publicly with regards to family, integrity, and ethics. I am sending this note along to you because of your affiliation with Fox News and what I have put in motion with the letter I have sent Megyn Kelly and Fox News. I have tried for one year with John and others to resolve an unbelievable set of actions that John initiated and perpetuated, bringing great destruction to me and my family. Doug Hampton attached to that email uh, to Rick Santorum the letter he had sent to Fox News host Megyn Kelly, and that told the story of Senator Ensign's pursuit of an affair with Doug's wife, and of Senator Ensign firing both Doug and his wife. So what do you think Rick Santorum did with this information? I mean, what would be the family values thing to do in this situation? Apparently, if you're Rick Santorum, it's to tip off your pal who has this sex scandal, to let him know that he's about to be exposed. Rick Santorum got that email from Doug Hampton on June 15th. The very next day, June 16th, Senator Ensign called a press conference and admitted to the affair, not to all the other stuff, just the affair, and he said he would not be stepping down. That timing, that one day between the email and the press conference, had long caused Doug Hampton to speculate that maybe Rick Santorum had been the source of the tip-off to Ensign, that this was all about to come out. Indeed, Doug Hampton's suspicions were confirmed by an exhaustive and damning report released last month by the Ethics Committee. Listen to this, quote, On June 15, 2009, Mr. Hampton forwarded a copy of the letter he had written to Fox News in an email to former Senator Rick Santorum. He asked Senator Santorum for help with the matter. Senator Santorum... Get this, Senator Santorum forwarded Mr. Hampton's email 
and the letter to Senator Ensign at his Gmail address that evening at approximately 10.20 p.m. I'd be worried about my family and I would have taken different steps. I would have stepped down and done, uh, done what's best for, um, for the people that I love. According to Rick Santorum's ostentatiously superior and pious family values, for which you, of course, should elect him president so he can protect the country from your comparably bad family values. According to Rick Santorum, when faced with a Democratic sex scandal, the obvious moral solution is immediate shameful resignation for your family's sake. But when faced with a Republican sex and lobbying and cover-up and payoff and abuse of power and harassment scandal, the solution is a swift and quiet tip-off to let the bad guy get ahead of any bad press, to let the bad guy contain the scandal for a while anyway, and let him refuse steadfastly to resign for years until he was about to be thrown out of office. Rick Santorum never called for John Ensign to resign. For what it's worth, he also never called for David Vitter to resign. But Anthony Weiner must resign. So we can surmise that presidential candidate Rick Santorum's guide to sex scandal etiquette appears to be one sentence long. It's okay if you are a Republican.